New York Mets owner Fred Wilpon and his son Jeff, the team's chief operating officer, were not just investors with Bernard Madoff. They were personal friends. The lawsuit filed by the trustee seeking to recover funds for Madoff victims claims the Mets owners profited massively from their Madoff investments. It seeks $300 million. They want, they want $300 million from the Mets? From the Mets' ownership, yeah. Because of the Madoff's own. The suit claims $90 million in phony Madoff profits went to cover day-to-day -day operations of the Mets. Despite the third highest payroll in baseball last season, the team's been a disappointment on the field and quiet in the off-season market for new players. Now they don't, sign, they don't sign no players around. They don't sign no players. All the second player they sign, they have a new GM, new owners. The Wilpons recently announced they're looking for minority investors, but some fans see this as the beginning of the end for the current ownership. Um, the way that it looks now, it looks like they should sell the team. My prediction is that they will end up having to sell the team. Uh, you know, they've been dealing with a guy who's a bum for a long, long time. The lawsuit was unsealed after settlement talks broke down. A lawyer for the trustee says there are a lot of Madoff victims, but the Wilpons and team president Saul Katz aren't among them. The owners insist they're among the many swindled by Madoff and accuse the trustee of trying to strong-arm a settlement by threatening to ruin their reputations. Warren Levinson, The Associated Press, New York.